Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about image optimization for web. Anytime you take a picture with your cell phone or with a digital camera, you end up with, a, with an image that is very large and also very heavy. If you end up uh, uploading that to your website, it makes your website very, very slow. So you need to optimize all your images. Um, I have this image uh, here on my desktop. I'm going to right click on it and go to properties. If you have a Mac computer, you can right click and go to get info. It takes you to the same spot. You see the size, which is file size, 1.86 megabytes. This is a very, very heavy um, image. If you go to details, you see the dimensions of this picture are 3008 by 2000 pixels. And also the resolution is 300 dpi. So the image is big. Uh, it's 3000 by 2000 is three times of the uh, screen size of my monitor. And also the resolution required for web is 72, not 300. So we have to modify all this. In order to do that, um, I have opened this picture in Photoshop, which you can do by going to File Open. Um, Photoshop will fit this to the window. This is not the actual uh, size of the picture. You can go to View Fit on a screen to do so, or you can see the 100% of the image, which would be this size. In order to change the dimensions of the picture, I'm going to go to image, image size. Uh, again, we have the width and height in pixels and the resolution. We're not going to change the resolution here. I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, but in order to change the width and height proportionally, we make sure that this chain is selected. That will keep the proportions intact. I'm going to change the width to 100 pixels, as you see, uh, to 800 pixels, and as you see, Photoshop automatically changed the height to 532. Um, you can press OK. So this is the size of the image. If this is what you like, you can go ahead and save it. If not, you can go back to image, image size, and resize it again. I'm going to save this file. In order to save a file for web, you don't have to or need to go to File Save. You can go to File Export Save for Web. If you save a file for web, it automatically changes the resolution to 72 uh, ppi, which is pixel per inch. Here on the top right corner, you have a slider for quality. That will change the quality of the pixel, which you can actually see it here physically if you're on 2-up. In a 2-up view, I have the original file and the exported file. You see they look pretty good. And um, uh, with, with the dimensions that we saw there with the slider 80%, um, I can zoom in here I had 90%, I can change it to 80% and see if it makes any changes. It still looks, looks pretty good. And now I can see if the file size has come down to 88, sorry, 89.84 kilobyte, which is really good. Now you can click save to save this file and that would be optimized for web. Um, so uh, let's go over it one more time. We changed the dimensions by going to image image size and then we also went to file export save for web that has reduced the pixels the number of the pixels by changing the quality and also that has um, changed the resolution to 72. So this picture is uh, perfect for web and uh, you can upload this. I hope you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching.